Hello again. Uh, today we're going to do a fuel filter change. Uh, it's probably something people forget to do. It's fairly important to do to replace them regular. Um, one of the mistakes people make is they, they don't fill, fill the fuel filter with diesel. So I've just been out, purchased a tub of diesel. And I've also made a little device to fill up the, the flow and return. Just pop that on there, tighten that up. I think you just put the diesel in there. Works pretty well. I've done this before. Um, so I've just got one of these spare. I thought it'd make a good video. Um, we'll have a go at taking the clips off, that's the other thing I forgot. I'm going to use a screwdriver, there's pretty flimsy plastic clips so uh, you've got to be careful uh, when you flick them out that you don't drop them in the engine bay. So I always put something underneath, a little cardboard sheet or uh, some form of plastic container so if they do go out they drop in there and then you can retrieve them easily. So we'll get on with that now. So I'm not sure how good this is, but uh, these are the plastic clips you've got to slide out here. And they sort of they press in and, and push that way. This one goes that way, that one goes that way. I'll put some cloth underneath, whether it's going to do any good I don't know. But uh, we'll see how this goes. I can get a camera angle good enough. Oh, that's that one. Also catches the diesel. Ah, there we go. Right there. If you can see there, the clips just pop out. I was struggling to do it with one hand, so these just flick out, and then these connectors just pull off. Mine are a bit stiff at the moment, so I'll have to stop the video, but yeah, they'll just pull off, and then uh, clips just pop back in. Well, I won't lie, that was a bit of a pickle to be honest. Got the old filter out and uh, with this connection here. So I think you've got a you've got one that's from your leak off uh, connections off your injectors. So I think that's this bottom one here. The middle one blows fuel to your fuel pump, high pressure pump, and this one is just the diesel from the tank. And it was that one that I struggled with. I ended up 
I had to take the bracket off so that I could pull the pull this out so I could manoeuvre it. And I had to get this little screwdriver just under, I don't know if you can see, just underneath the collar and just lever it up because the last thing you want to do is break the plastic connections. Um, so, so yeah, it was a bit of a pickle one of them, but uh, it did just go in the end. And so I'll, I'll fill up the new filter and get it fitted. So I've done here, I've just refitted the fuel filter cradle with a cable tie just in there. So that's the one I struggled with there. Um, it's just a bit tight, so just managed to do it with that screwdriver. But yeah, that's the first thing I've done. I've just fitted this cradle back. Right, so I've set this up. I've uh, got my diesel in a nice clean glass jar. I'm just going to fill the fil uh, filter up on the one from the tank, the feed's got an arrow on it. So I'll just keep feeding this. You can hear it. Should start going, coming out of the other unions when it's full. up because you will struggle to start it if you don't face it. Oh there we go. You see how it's come out the ends, both of those ends, so that's now full. Taking a full jar, 500 ml jar of diesel. Fill that up. And let's let's install it and see if it starts. So there's the filter in situ. As you can see, the top one is the for this one here. That's the one that's stiff. That goes from the tank. This is the output one. This will go to your fuel high pressure pump, and this one's your leak off from your injectors. So all that's required now is for you to push these on them and pop those clips back. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Don't touch that. This red clip here had come off, so oops. It was just a little bit difficult doing it with one hand. So all that's required now is for these to be pushed, pushed down and those clips being put back in. So I'll do that now. They're all clipped in and on now. That one went on a lot, a lot better than, uh, than the other one. Maybe that filter was a, a rubbish cheap one. Mind you, I think this one is to be honest. Um, now uh, I think I'll give uh, starting the car a go and see if it starts. Well that started first crank. I'm um, just going to check if there's any leaks. Leave that running. Well, that's all completed now. The car's running fine. Uh, it was really only that little uh, union on here that's causing me the issue. The larger one, it looks larger, but um, it was that, that top one there. Um, that it does feel a bit crusty, so maybe it was just corroded on. Don't know. 
either way this screwdriver underneath it eased it up so life server <laughs> um, the other thing to remember is I'm going to empty out the contents that's in this see how dirty the diesel is see if there's any flex of any kind uh, you know so I'll be emptying it into here and the other thing to remember is when I was filling it up I didn't use the tube on the can because uh, looking inside it there was dust and dirt in there so it's very important that you keep everything really clean when you're doing a job like this because the last thing you need is dirt grit in your filter your brand new filter you've just purchased so uh, let's go ahead and empty this out in here my battery's going a bit flat oh well Going to be crystal clear. Um, oh, there was a bit of crap in there, but there's no, there's no iron flex or anything in there, which is good news. Probably means the, the high pressure fuel pump isn't on its way. But who knows? Actually, there's not much coming out of that. That was the uh, brand of fuel filter that was on it, Fuji Toyo FFC2304, so that's what was in it, doesn't look too bad, a bit of corrosion there but, oh, time for the bin. Yeah, I think it was a good job done. Anyways, I'm going to go and clean up and uh, just gives us a thumbs up if you like it. Bye for now. <laughs>